My name is Matt Como, and in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through my creative process on how I condense down two terabytes of footage into a short, concise, and engaging story in just under two minutes. For over the last couple of weeks, I've been following and documenting world-renowned electronic music artist Zed as he has transcribed his debut album Clarity into a 52-piece orchestral set that he performed at the iconic Dolby Theater in Los Angeles, California. So let's hop right on into it. When you have so much footage, over two terabytes of video, it's so incredibly easy to get overwhelmed by all the information that you need to watch and look through. The number one tip that I would recommend is to work in isolated systems. You need to be able to go through your footage and organize it into sequences and bins that make sense. I will organize footage based on scenes. So I'll load everything into my Premiere project and I will literally take all the interview footage and put it in one timeline. All the rehearsals and put it in another timeline. So now that you have bracketed this out and put the scenes into their own different buckets, now you can kind and comb through and pull the best part of that particular video. That is now my starting point. That is the clips that I am working from. It just makes it so much easier for me to actually see the vision of what I'm trying to create. The second step is to build out your story through sound design and interviews first because once again, story always comes first and you need to anchor your entire video around some sort of narrative. You gotta think of it as anchor points. I need the hook in the beginning, some tension in the middle, and I have the resolution at the end. Now you have a more fleshed out structure of this video. The third step is to go through your visual selects and put it in the story where it makes the most logical sense. So I'll go through, I'll try and find some slow-mo bits or different things that complement the story that's being told and I'll overlay that on top, kind of wiggle things around until I find a flow that works. And then the fourth step is make it unique to you. Use your sound design, visual effects, lens flares, light leaks, all the things and elements that you find cool. It's so easy to get carried away with all these little nuances that you see in different YouTube videos. That is actually part of the process process that I do at the very, very end. I do want to reiterate, story always comes first. So over the last decade, I have reached a point in my career where I've been so fortunate to work with some of the top artists, musicians, brands. There's a lot of expertise that I can articulate back to you guys that hopefully it helps you on your creative journey as well. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please help support the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing. It really does mean a lot. And until next time, peace.